Kashmir Shaivism or more accurately Trika Shaivism refers to a nondualist tradition of Saiva Sakta Tantra which originated sometime after 850 CE. Though this tradition was very influential in Kashmir and is thus often called Kashmir Shaivism, it was actually a pan-Indian movement termed Trika by its great exegete Abhinavagupta, which also flourished in Odisha and Maharashtra. Defining features of the Trika tradition is its idealistic and monistic Pratyabhijna recognition philosophical system, propounded by Utpaladeva c. 925-975 CE and Abhinavagupta c. 975-1025 CE, and the centrality of the three goddesses Para, Parapara, and Apara, while Trika draws from numerous Saiva texts, such as the Shaiva Agamas and the Saiva and Sakta Tantras, its major scriptural authorities are the Malanivajayatara Tantra, the Sadayojas Varimata and the Anamaka Tantra. Its main exegetical works are those of Abhinavagupta, such as the Tantraloka, Malanilakavartika, and Tantrasara which are formerly an exegesis of the Malanivajayatara Tantra, although they also drew heavily on the Kali-based Krama subcategory of the Kulamaga. Kashmir Shaivism claimed to supersede Shaiva Siddhanta, a dualistic tradition which scholars consider normative Tantric Shaivism. The Shaiva Siddhanta goal of becoming an ontologically distinct Shiva through Shiva's grace was replaced by recognizing oneself as Shiva who, in Kashmir Shaivism's monism, is the entirety of the universe. History Shiva Sutras and Spandakarika Dating from around 850 to 900 CE, the Shiva Sutras and Spandakarika were the first attempt from the Sakta Saiva domain to present a non-dualistic metaphysics and Gnostic soteriology in opposition to the dualistic exegesis of the Shaiva Siddhanta. The Shiva Sutras appeared to Vasugupta in a dream, according to tradition. The Spandakarika was either composed by Vasugupta or his student Bhata Kalata. Lineage Somananda, the first theologian of monistic Shaivism, was the teacher of Utpaladeva, who was the grand teacher of Abhinavagupta, who in turn was the teacher of Kasemaraja. Abhinavagupta The Tantraloka, Malanilakavartika, and Tantrasara of the Kashmirian Abhinavagupta CE are formally an exegesis on the Malanivajayatara Tantra, although they also drew heavily on the Kali-based Krama tradition of the Kulamaga, Jayaratha CE wrote a commentary on the Tantraloka. <laughs> 20th century revival There were no major writers or publications after approximately the 14th century. In the 20th century Swami Laxman Jew, a Kashmiri Brahmin, helped revive both the scholarly and yajic streams of Kashmir Shaivism. His contribution is enormous. He inspired a generation of scholars who made Kashmir Shaivism a legitimate field of inquiry within the academy. Acharya Rameshwar Jha, a disciple of Jew, is often credited with establishing the roots of Kashmir Shaivism in the learned community of Varanasi. Rameshwar Jha with his creativity, familiarity with the ancient texts and personal experiences provided access to concepts of non-dualistic Kashmir Shaivism. His writings of Sanskrit verses have been published as the books Purnta Pratyabhijna and Samitswatantram. Swami Muktananda, although not belonging to the direct lineage of Kashmir Shaivism, felt an affinity for the teachings, validated by his own direct experience. He encouraged Motilal Banasidas to publish Jadeva Singh's translations of Shiva Sutras, Pratyavainadayam, Spandakarikas and Vijnana Bhairava. He also introduced Kashmir Shaivism to a wide audience of Western meditators through his writings and lectures on the subject. The Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, a chapter from the Rudrayamala Tantra, was introduced to the West by Paul Reps, a student of Jew, by including an English translation in his book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones. Cast as a discourse between the god Shiva and his consort Devi or Shakti, it presents 112 meditation methods or centering techniques <laughs> Topic: Modern practice 
Topic: Prerequisites. Since it is a tantric tradition, a necessary prerequisite for trika yajic practice is tantric initiation or diksa. The Malanivajayatara Tantra, a major source for the tradition, states, "...without initiation there is no qualification for Saiva Yoga." Although domesticated into a householder tradition, Kashmir Shaivism recommended a secret performance of Kaula practices in keeping with its tantric heritage. This was to be done in seclusion from public eyes, therefore allowing one to maintain the appearance of a typical householder. The Malanivajayatara Tantra outlines several major preconditions conferring the authority to practice yoga, the yogin who has mastered posture and the mind, controlled the vital energy, subdued the senses, conquered sleep, overcome anger and agitation and who is free from deceit, should practice yoga in a quiet, pleasant cave or earthen hut free from all obstructions. Topic. Six Laxius Numerous texts such as the Malanivajayatara Tantra also outline six varieties of the goal or targets laxius of yajic practices, mainly Contemplation of void vyuman, which bestows all perfections and liberation. Contemplation of body vigraha, which bestows the coercion of deities like Vishnu or Rudra. Contemplation of drop bindu, which bestows sovereignty over yogans. Contemplation of phoneme ana, which bestows the perfection of mantra. Contemplation of world Bhuvana, which bestows regency of a world. Contemplation of resonance dh vani, which leads to isolation and liberation. Each of the goals is given specific practices. For example, in the Malanivajayatara Tantra, perfecting the void is said to be reached by moving the mind and vital energy through the use of mantric resonance through two groups of three voids located along the central channel which are also correlated with a system of six chakras, reaching to the region above the head. Different scriptures outline different lists of voids and their location in the body. The practice of resonance deals with various sounds, and how the yogin is to focus on a specific sound and its resonance within the central channel. Regarding mantra, different Saiva tantras and texts teach different mantras and bija seed mantras. These mantras are generally intoned at different positions in the body along the central channel, such as at the heart, throat, forehead, etc. The Diksatara Tantra, for example, teaches the intonation of the Hamsor mantra, beginning in the heart region. Some texts teach a lineal ascent through the heart, the throat, the palate, and the forehead, culminating with the transcendence of sonic experience as the limit of resonance nidanta in the cranium is pierced. Other texts have the mantric energy follow the breath through the nose outside the body. Yogas <inaudible> 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 Since Trika Saivism is a synthesis of various traditions, its texts, like the Malanivajayatara Tantra, distinguishes four different types of Saiva Yoga. According to Somadev Vasudeva, two of these have been assimilated from the Tantras of the Siddhanta 1, the conquest of the reality levels Tattvajaya, which has been transformed into a radically new type of yoga based on the 15 levels of the apperceptive process, and 2, the Yoga of Six Ancillaries Sadanga Yoga, which is taken over with only minor variations. The third is three, Kaula Yoga with its system of four immersions Pindastha, Padastha, Rupastha and Rapatita and as a fourth may be counted for, the three types of possession avasa taught in the Trika Anava, Sakta and Sambhava which are innovatively presented as three meta-categories under which all yajic exercises can be subsumed. <laughs> the conquest of the tattvas In Trika texts as well as those of other Saiva schools, it is common to formulate the process of yajic conquest of the realities tattvas as a series of dharanas. Dharanas introspections are complex sequences of meditative practices, which focus on a series of contemplations on a hierarchy of apperceptive states designed to bring him ever closer to the level of the highest perceiver, Shiva. This hierarchy of meditations and visualizations is based on the Shaiva schema of the 36 tattvas. According to Somadev Vasudeva, the procedure can be described thus, the yogin starts by disengaging the mind from external stimuli and then fixes it upon a tattva such as earth, water, etc. with ever-deepening absorption. He attains an internalized vision of the reality, and compares it with his authoritative, scriptural knowledge of the highest level. 
By means of Taka reasoning, an ontological value judgment, he discerns that it is different from Shiva and thus transcends it. The yogin's ascension inevitably brings him to the reality which is Shiva at the zenith of all paths. One example of the meditation on the tattva of buddhi intellect from the Malanivajayatara Tantra is as follows, contemplating in the heart a lotus with color of the rising sun, with eight petals containing the eight bhavas of dharma etc., and a perikarp, the yogin's intellect becomes steady within a month. Within six he becomes a knower of the sruti scripture. Within three years he himself becomes an author of scriptures. Contemplating his own physical form there in the heart, he perceives the principle of intellect. Topic: <laughs> Yoga with six ancillaries, Sadanga Yoga. Trika Yoga generally uses a system of six limbs or ancillaries, Angus, which are seen as subsidiary to the principal conquest of the tattvas. This system was adopted from the dualistic Saiva Siddhanta as well as in Pankaratra scriptures such as the Jayakya Savita. According to Samadeva Vasudeva, in Trika, Sadanga Yoga is to be understood as a collection of helpful or even indispensable yogic techniques which enable the prospective yogin to achieve the required coalescence or identification tanmayata, lit, the consisting of that ness with the object of contemplation. These six subsidiaries as outlined by the Malanivajayatara Tantra, are Pranayama, control of the breath, or vital energy. Prana, includes various forms of inhalation, exhalation, kumbhaka, as well as proper posture asana, defined as either lotus or some other seated posture. The practice of ujjitha eruption is also taught, which is a process whereby the retained air is propelled or launched upwards from the navel region so that it strikes the head. Dharana fixations or concentrations. Four are taught, fire, water, sovereign defined as bindu and nada and nectar fixating upon a lunar disc above the cranium which drops divine nectar into the central channel, filling the body. Taka judgment or reasoning, defined as the ascertainment of what is to be cultivated and what is to be rejected. Dhyana meditation, defined as attentive contemplation on Shiva or a focused stream of awareness directed towards the judged and thus accepted reality. Samadhi, a deep absorption that arises from prolonged the text states 48 minutes and firmly established meditation, in which the yogin becomes as though non-existent. He reaches a state where he becomes as though dead, from which even intense sounds and other such sense data cannot rouse him. Pratyahara, complete withdrawal of the Mindan the Malanivajayatara Tantra chapter 17, these are seen as six progressive steps leading to complete identification with the object of meditation. It is important to note that different Saiva Tantras outline different forms of the six ancillaries, and there is no consensus as to their order, their definition or even their subdivisions. Among the different Tantras Topic. Yajic suicide The practice of Utkranti, also called Yajic suicide, is also taught in non-dual Saiva tantras like the Malanivajayatara Tantra, which uses the vital energy rising through the central channel to end one's life and proceed to union with Shiva. The text says that this abandonment of the body can be done at the end of one's life, after one has mastered all that one has set out to achieve. Topic. Four upayas To attain moksha, sadhana or spiritual practice is necessary. Kashmir Shaivism describes four major methods S. Anavopaya, the method of the body Saktopaya, the method of the mind Sambhavopaya, the method of consciousness Anupaya, the methodless method Topic. Anavopaya, purification of the body While most other paths observe offering incense and external objects to the deity, this path takes on to offering breaths. The individual controls his heart and pulse by reducing it significantly. The final stage is renouncing consumption of food and water. As a result, he, she connects the state of the supreme in the form of Shiva which results in purification of the body and generation of Oyas.
Topic: Philosophy. Topic: Influences and major exponents. The philosophy of Trika Shaivism is called Pratyabhijna recognition and it is mainly a non-dual idealistic and monistic theism. It is influenced by the works of the Saiva monist Vasugupta CE and numerous Saiva scriptures such as the Agamas and Saiva Sakta Tantras. The Trika philosophical system of Pratyabhijna is presented in the works of Somananda C. 900 to 950 CE, Utpaladeva C. 925 to 975 CE Abhinavagupta C 975-1025 CE and his disciple Kashamaraja C 1000 to 1050 according to Christopher Wallace the philosophy of Trika Shaivism also adopted much of the ontological apparatus of Sankhya school such as its system of 25 tattvas expanding and reinterpreting it for its own system of 36 tattvas Another important source for Trika is the idealistic and dualistic theism of Shaiva Siddhanta. The Saivas also were influenced by the work of Buddhist Vijnanavada and Pramanavada philosophers, especially Dharmakirti, who was also taken as a primary non-Saiva opponent and whose doctrines were sometimes absorbed into the Pratyabhijna system. <laughs> Metaphysics and theology The philosophy of recognition, as outlined by thinkers like Utpaladeva, teaches that though the identity of all souls is one with God Isvara or Shiva which is the single reality, being an absolute consciousness, they have forgotten this due to Maya or ignorance. However, through knowledge one can recognize one's authentic divine nature and become a liberated being. Another important element of Trika theology is the active and dynamic nature of consciousness, which is described as the spontaneous vibration or pulsation of universal consciousness, which is an expression of its freedom and power Because of this, though this philosophy is idealist, it affirms the reality of the world and everyday life, as a real transformation manifestation or appearance of the absolute consciousness. The absolute is also explained through the metaphor of light prakasha and reflective awareness vimasha. .Tantric scholar practitioner Christopher Wallace outlines the metaphysics and theology of non-dual Shaiva Tantra thus All that exists, throughout all time and beyond, is one infinite divine consciousness, free and blissful, which projects within the field of its awareness a vast multiplicity of apparently differentiated subjects and objects, each object an actualization of a timeless potentiality inherent in the light of consciousness, and each subject the same plus a contracted locus of self-awareness. This creation, a divine play, is the result of the natural impulse within consciousness to express the totality of its self-knowledge in action, an impulse arising from love. The unbounded light of consciousness contracts into finite embodied loci of awareness out of its own free will. When those finite subjects then identify with the limited and circumscribed cognitions and circumstances that make up this phase of their existence, instead of identifying with the trans-individual overarching pulsation of pure awareness that is their true nature, they experience what they call suffering. To rectify this, some feel an inner urge to take up the path of spiritual gnosis and yajic practice, the purpose of which is to undermine their misidentification and directly reveal within the immediacy of awareness the fact that the divine powers of consciousness, bliss, willing, knowing, and acting comprise the totality of individual experience as well. Thereby triggering a recognition that one's real identity is that of the highest divinity, the whole in every part. This experiential gnosis is repeated and reinforced through various means until it becomes the nonconceptual ground of every moment of experience, and one's contracted sense of self and separation from the whole is finally annihilated in the incandescent radiance of the complete expansion into perfect wholeness. Then one's perception fully encompasses the reality of a universe dancing ecstatically in the animation of its completely perfect divinity. This single supreme reality is also sometimes referred to as Aham, the heart. It is considered to be a non-dual interior space of Shiva, support for the entire manifestation, supreme mantra and identical to Sakti. Topic: <laughs> Theology of the Triad or Trika. An important element of Trika Shaivism's theology is the use of several triads symbolized by the trident in its theological explanation of the absolute reality. There are several triads described in Trika theology of thinkers like Abhinavagupta, including 
three realities, Shiva the supreme transcendent, Sakti immanent in creation, the link between the macrocosm and the microcosm and Anu the limited atom or individual, a complete image of the ultimate, the microcosm of the macrocosm. Three powers, Icha will, Jayanana knowledge, and Kriya action. Any action of any being, including God, is subject to these three fundamental energies. ICCHA or will is in the beginning of any action or process. J nana by which the action is clearly expressed first in mind, before it is put into action. Then comes Kriya, the energy of the action. Three entities, Pati Shiva, Pasa bondage, Pasu soul, Shakti triad or three goddesses, Para transcendence, Parapara transcendence and immanence, and Apara Sakti immanence. Three aspects of knowledge, Pramatri the subject, Pramana the modalities of knowledge, and Pramaya the known object. Three states of consciousness, Jagrat awaken, Svapna dreaming, and Susupti dreamless sleep. Threefold spiritual path, Sambhavopaya, Saktopaya and Anavopaya. The transcendental triad, Prakasa luminosity, Vimasa dynamics, Samarasya homogeneous bliss. The three impurities, Anavamala, Maya, Karma. Topic. Comparison with Advaita Vedanta Kashmir Shaivism and Advaita Vedanta are both non-dual philosophies that give primacy to universal consciousness chit or Brahman. In Kashmir Shaivism, all things are a manifestation of this consciousness, but the phenomenal world Sakti is real, existing and having its being in consciousness chit. Texts According to Mark S. G. Dytskoski, Kashmiri Trika Shaivism looks to three scriptures as its primary authorities the Malanivajayatara Tantra, the Sadayojas Varimata, and the Anamaka Tantra. As a monistic tantric system, Trika Shaivism, as it is also known, draws teachings from Shrutis, such as the monistic Bhairava Tantras, Shiva Sutras of Vasagupta, and also a unique version of the Bhagavad Gita, which has a commentary by Abhinavagupta, known as the Gatatha Samgraha. Teachings are also drawn from the Tantraloka of Abhinavagupta, prominent among a vast body of Smritis employed by Kashmir Shaivism. In general, the whole written tradition of Shaivism can be divided in three fundamental parts, Agama Sastra, Spanda Sastra and Pratyabhijna Sastra.1. Agama Sastra are those writings that are considered as being a direct revelation from Shiva. These writings were first communicated orally, from the master to the worthy disciple. They include essential works such as Malanivajaya Tantra, Svachanda Tantra, Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, Netra Tantra, Mergendra Tantra, Rudrayamala Tantra, Sivasutra and others. There are also numerous commentaries to these works, Sivasutra having most of them point to, Spanda Sastra, the main work of which is Spandakarika of Bhata Kalata, a disciple of Vasugupta, with its many commentaries. Out of them, two are of major importance, Spanda Sandoha this commentary talks only about the first verses of Spanda Karika, and Spanda Nirnaya which is a commentary of the complete text. Point three. Pratyabhijna Sastra are those writings which have mainly a metaphysical content. Due to their extremely high spiritual and intellectual level, this part of the written tradition of Shaivism is the least accessible for the uninitiated. Nevertheless, this corpus of writings refer to the simplest and most direct modality of spiritual realization. Pratyabhijna means recognition and refers to the spontaneous recognition of the divine nature hidden in each human being Atman. The most important works in this category are, Isvara Pratyabhijna, the fundamental work of Utpaladeva, and Pratyabhijna Vimarsini, a commentary to Isvara Pratyabhijna. Isvara Pratyabhijna means in fact the direct recognition of the Lord Isvara as identical to one's heart. Before Utpaladeva, his master Somananda wrote Shiva Dokshti, the vision of Shiva, a devotional poem written on multiple levels of meaning. Topic. See also. Lathleshwari, 1320 to 1392. Bhagwan Gopinath (1898–1968), Swami Laxman Jew (1907–1991). Equals equals notes.